what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says what is the value of the square root of 6 minus the square root of 27 well our first step would be for us to simplify the square roots this one inside so we have the square root of this is 6 minus the square root of 27 is same as 9 times 3. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to separate what we have here, since we know that the square root of A times B is same as the square root of A times the square root of B. So that means this expression can now be simplified as the square root of 6 minus the square root of 9 times the square root of 3. Very good. Now, we know that the square root of 9 is 3. So this will be the square root of 6 minus square root of 9 is 3. So 3 times the square root of 3 is 3 root 3. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to apply a little bit of trick because I am interested in making what is inside of this square root a perfect square in order to cancel out this square root. So what do I do? I know that 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So I'm going to be applying this here. So this will be the square root of 2 divided by 2, which is 1, times 6 minus 3 root 3. Very good. Very good. So we see that 2 divided by 2 is 1, and when it multiplies 6 minus 3 root 3, we have the same thing. Now, our next step will be for us to multiply the numerator. So we have the square root of the numerator, 2 times 6, that's 12, minus 2 times 3, root 3, is 6, root 3. Very good. All of our, the denominator, 2. Now, our next step will be for us to split the 6. So use 2, which is a factor of 6, to multiply a number to give 6. And we know that 2 times 3 is 6. So that means this can be simplified into 12 minus 2 times 3. That's 6 root 3. Very good. All over the denominator 2. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to split 12 so that we have the square root of 12 is same as 9 plus 3. Very good. So, 9 plus 3 produces 12. Now, minus 2 times 3 root 3. Very good. All of our, the denominator, 2. And now simplifying further, this will be the square root of 9 is a perfect square, which means it can be written as 3 squared. Very good. Plus 3 can be written as the square root of 3 squared. Because this square can cancel out the square root, leaving behind 3. So this expression and this 3 are the same thing minus 2 times 3 root 3 very good all over the denominator which is 2 now notice what i have on the numerator what i have on the numerator looks exactly as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab and an expression like this is a perfect squared, which is written as 
a minus b all squared very good that means we can be able to write this in this form and comparing you see that a is 3 and b is the square root of 3 so this expression will be the square root of what I have here will be 3 minus the square root of 3 all squared very good written in this form all over the denominator which is 2 now our next step will be for us to apply a property of sod which says when I have a square root of a all over b this can be written as the square root of a all over the square root of b so let's apply this to what we have here that means this expression will be the square root of 3 minus the square root of 3 all squared all over the denominator the square root of 2. now notice that the square root can cancel out the square leaving behind 3 minus the square root of 3 on the numerator all over the denominator is the square root of 2. very good now our next step will be for us to rationalize the denominator so we have 3 minus the square root of 3 all over the square root of 2 so rationalizing the denominator means we multiply the numerator by the square root of 2 and also multiply the denominator by the square root of 2 very good so 3 minus the square root of 3 times the square root of 2 is same as writing the square root of 2 times 3 minus the square root of 3 very good all over the denominator the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 can be written as the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 very good now our next step will be for us to open up the brackets by using the square root of 2 to multiply through so the square root of 2 times 3 gives 3 root 2 minus the square root of 2 times the square root of 3 that's the square root of 2 times the square root of 3 all over the denominator the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 now our next step will be for us to apply the property of sort that says when I have the square root of a times the square root of b just as we have here and here this can be written as the square root of a times b so that means this will be 3 root 2 minus the square root of 2 times 3 all over the denominator the square root of 2 times 2 very good and this simplifies into 3 root 2 minus the square root of 2 times 3 is 6 all over the denominator the square root of 2 times 2 is 4 very good and then finally this simplifies into 3 root 2 minus the square root of 6 all over the square root of 4 is actually 2 and this is our final solution well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time Take care.